COVID-19 continues to spread around our region with Erie County today reporting 180 new cases alone. Local hospitals are feeling the strain as well. Erie County hospitals have just 63 of their 580 beds available. Crawford County, 43 of its 138 beds available. And state data is showing Warren County hospitals to be out of beds with all 21 occupied. Warren and Crawford counties are both out of, again, ICU beds, and Erie County has just 15 of its 142 beds available. Those numbers continue, again, to put a strain on local hospitals and hospital systems across Pennsylvania. So locally, across the Commonwealth, really across the United States. And tonight, Elspeth Meisner is joining us here in the studio. And Elspeth, you have the story of how one man lost his mother due to what he says is the strained hospital system. But he's found the courage to share a story tonight. Eva, when Dave Schopp lost his mother the week of Thanksgiving, he was devastated, but he wanted to make sure others could learn from his mother's death in hopes that the same thing doesn't happen to somebody they love as well. I think we as a society always believe it won't happen to me until it does. November 19th was the last time Dave Schopp spoke to his mother, Mary. I talked to her on Friday. She was fine. Saturday, she was admitted to a hospital you know, they didn't have a surgeon on staff due to COVID. They didn't have anybody, or not due to COVID, but due to being on vacation. Due to COVID, there was no replacement. His mother had stomach pain, but after a first hospital visit, she was transferred to another hospital. From there, her condition worsened. When he arrived, he could see how busy regional hospitals were. They are strained, without a doubt. I mean, I could see it when I was there. They had her in a bed in the hallway rather than a room. His mother died the following Monday, the result of a heart attack caused by gallbladder and pancreatic problems. He thinks his mom would still be around had COVID-19 not been taking over many hospitals. Indirectly to COVID, uh, she unfortunately is a victim. They are stretched so thin. I mean, it isn't like it used to be where, you know, they just have adequate resources and, and adequate people that, uh, and it's by no fault of theirs. I mean, it's just, you can only do so much. He says he can't believe he'll never pick up the phone again to call his mom or to simply hear her voice. She was the center of our family and friends and the community in which we lived in. And all of us feel that we were robbed. But he hopes her death will encourage others to be assertive, especially when a loved one is in the hospital. Just be proactive as best you can. And, you know, be understanding of the situation but do your best to be proactive and stay on top of it. And like I say, it could save your family's life. He also said besides being assertive with loved ones in the hospital, to never take your family or friends for granted because you never know when that phone call could be your last. Elspeth Meisner, Erie News Now.